understand it, they, they, a lot of devices, a lot of manufacturers actually test the device by dropping the steel ball onto the, onto the products. So what I'm gonna have here is a this alternative, this is a competitor glass, it's seven or 0.7 millimeters thick, it has a seven inch scratch. So that's the scratch on there is actually scratched in the glass between us two guys. Yeah, seven newtons. So it's right here. So load it up into this tester. Pull it in. You see the competitor glass is broken. Looks like an iPhone. <laughs> I can't come without it. Push on camera. <laughs> so here we have Gorilla Glass 3. The same 7 newton scratch, 7.7 millimeters thick. Go to here in the tester. You see Gorilla Glass 3 still survives. Right? But at corny, we always try to keep pushing and keep going higher. So what we're going to do here is ramp it up to 30 degrees. So now the impact image is going to be three times greater than we had previously. And to show that, we have a piece of aluminum that is 0.7 millimeters thick. I'm going to show you how much impact energy that actually is. You see there's a nice sizable dent there in the glass, or in the uh, aluminum. So we do the same test with Corning Grill Glass 3, the same 7 newton scratch, and the same 0.7 millimeter stick just as the previous one we did. Load it up. Even after two impacts, the glass is still not broken. Now to show you how much actual force that is when I apply load to it, I'm going to take the same piece of glass, load it into this tester. Alright, we're going to wrap up the load to 100 pounds. So I'm applying some load to it. Probably up to 100 pounds of force that we applied there. You can see there, the glass is still not broken. Even though it's been scratched, it is still intact.